Hey guys, so if you're having hip problems, maybe you're having some hip pain right on the front of the groin, like right here, then maybe you're having a hip impingement syndrome. And hip impingement syndrome is really important because it can lead to some sort of soft tissue dysfunction, it can lead to a labral tear in the hip, it could even result in some arthritis occurring and some wear and tear of the joint cartilage. So how does this happen and how can we start to fix it, right? So first things first, we have to look at the hip socket right here, right? And so when we look at this hip socket, we see this nice deep crevice, hopefully you guys can see it right here. And what we'll have is the ball and the socket that wraps around and moves around freely, right? And there should be no impingement upon that. Now, when the ball and the socket are no longer aligned properly, or what can happen is it, it can start to change positions, it can start rubbing on the inside of the bone, like right here. And because of that ring of cartilage or that labrum that goes around, it can start to fray off that labrum and give a lot of hip pain. Typically, patients will have hip pain in the front or into the groin, and they'll start saying it hurts right here. So this is really, really common also in a lot of people who deep squat, uh, patient, patients who actually sit for long periods of time, and those people who overwork their hips very often. And what really happens in this type of position, right, is that if you think about our pelvis and our hip, right, it starts to rock forward just like this, right? Just as we do this. As it starts to rock forward, there's less and less room for the hip to rotate through that acetabulum or through that socket. And so as a result, it's kind of getting pushed further into that. So this is very common when you see people who squat, like I said, and who sit for long periods of time. The squatting could be improper squats. The sitting and the pelvic positioning is really important as well. So what will happen is that over time, this if you view this as a dial, it's going to start to round going forward, right? So as this rounds forward, there's less room, as I said before. So the cure for this, or the fix for this, is actually getting the pelvis to go posterior a little bit. And this will take pressure off of that. As you roll your hips backwards, like this, and roll it back, not from this position, but to this position, you're going to start aligning the pelvis a little bit better. And as you start to align that pelvis better, you're going to have less pinching of that hip. So moral of the story is, if you're having femoral acetabular hip impingement syndrome, what you're going to need to be doing is working from this anterior pelvic tilt to a posterior pelvic tilt. And we're gonna be showing you several videos in the future. So make sure you stick around for those.